Hello, 10th grade students. I want to explain to you now how to do your assignment regarding the quote of the week. So when you first log in to your virtual or whatever English 10 class you are in, when you first log in, it opens up to stream. Remember, stream is where I will post any announcements that I have for you all. So you will want to click classwork so that you can go in and start working on your quotes. So the quote of the week, every week for this nine weeks, you're going to have a new quote. We will spend one whole week working on this quote. So you do not have to do this whole thing all in one night. This is one quote per week. So the quote of the week is actually found on the uh, Google Slide lesson plans. And if you scroll down here, you will see in week two is the Google Slides lesson plans. Also, you will see the lesson plan overview video that I just posted a few minutes ago. So I would, I would like to take you now to take a look at the lesson plan slide regarding the quote. So here we have the quote, our first quote, the quote of the week. This is quote one. It's often easier to fight for principles than to live up to them by Adlai Stevenson. In the last video, I talked to you a little bit about Adlai Stevenson and his political career and the accomplishments that he made during his lifetime. But this is one of his quotes, and I want you to break this quote down and think about it. I want you to analyze it. Let's break it apart. It's often easier to fight for the principles than to live up to them. What does it mean? First of all, to have principles. Well, the principles are basically the standards by which you live. They are the things that you place value on doing and being as a young person. You have set established standards by which you live. You stand strong and firm on these principles. Sometimes we claim that we have these principles. I am a firm believer in. I will always be. I will always do. And we make those kinds of statements. But then in actuality, sometimes when push comes to shove, we have difficulty living up to those particular standards or principles that we have set. Uh, it's one thing to say it, but it's a whole new ball game to actually live it out every single day of your life. Now for Adlai Stevenson, he was a political figure. And you know, the political figures are totally scrutinized. Every little thing they do and say, every place they go, every look they have on their face is scrutinized and analyzed by the public. So people in the limelight, such as political figures, they really have to be on guard because if they're standing on certain principles and they say, this is my platform and these are the things in which I believe and I will live according to these standards, then they're going to be watched. And the first time they slip up, that's when people begin to attack. So thinking in terms of us, the average everyday citizen, we too proclaim to have certain values and standards by which we live. And we too are expected to carry out and live up to those standards that we've set. But we're only human too. So sometimes we make mistakes. So it's harder 
to live up to it once we've established it. Now, let's look at this other word um, that Stevenson used. He said, it's often easier to fight for principles than it is to actually live up to them. So oftentimes people get caught up, and this is really going on right now in society, the riots. People get caught up in a cause, and then they take it to the extreme. They start out with a um, very well-developed protest, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with a protest. Sometimes a protest is a really, really good thing. But then you have that group that moves in, and they don't really care about those standards. They don't really care about those principles that the protest is representing. They just want to make trouble. So they come in with the riots, and they proclaim that they are fighting for these particular principles or these particular values, but they're just there to make trouble. So they get involved in the fight. They make all the right statements. They do all the right things as far as drawing attention to the cause. But then on a daily basis, those people are just in it for troublemaking purposes as opposed to actually making a change and making a difference and living up to this in their everyday life. So this quote uh, is a very strong, it's a small, short quote, but it's a very strong and powerful quote. There are four assignments that go along with each quote each week. And for this particular quote, I want you to answer question number one. What is Stevenson trying to say about having values and living up to those values? So remember, it's one thing to have the values, but to actually live it out in your everyday life is a whole new ballgame. Um, and then I want you to write an alternative version of this sentence. In other words, I want you to put this quote in your own words and start with the words to be to live okay so you're going to to write a whole new sentence with that same idea of that quote beginning your sentence with to live um, and then i want you to rewrite the quote and I want you to substitute the synonyms, rewrite the quote just as it is written. It's often easier to fight for principles than to live up to them. But I want you to change out the words often and fight and come up with other synonyms that mean the same thing. Come up with another word that means the same thing as often and another word that means fight. And then I want you to focus on the meaning of the different spellings and the different words that have the same pronunciation. Principal as a noun, principal as a noun, and then principal as an adjective. Look up the definitions of those words and you will complete that. Now, let me go back to the classroom to the quotes. Now the quote is found in the Google slide under lesson plans. But if you go back to the quote in the classroom in the classwork section and you click on the quote of the week, you are going to see a Google Docs. And seven of you have already turned this in in this particular class. But you're going to see the Google Docs here. Now, please notice that on this Google Docs, I want you writing your answers in blue ink. That's very important because it helps me to recognize your answers very quickly. Do not submit this document until you I'm have... I'm not sure I understand. I'm sorry, Siri joined us. Uh, do not submit this document until you have completed every piece of this assignment okay so don't just do number one and then turn it in 
You have to submit all of it. And you have until Saturday to work on this quote assignment, okay? But do not miss your deadline. I was lenient last week with the assignments because it was the first week. Leniency is gone. So do not miss your deadline. But this is where and how you submit this assignment. So I am going to close this video now so that I can get this posted so that you can start working on your quote.